no. It's past five o'clock! <laughs> Hi everyone. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music. And it's time for an album review, Recondite on Acid. This, guy, this guy's a German producer, this is his debut album. He built up to this release with a few self-released EPs on a label that describes itself as a platform for deep and melancholic electronic music. There are eight tracks on this LP spanning around an hour of music, but two of the songs are remixes by other artists of songs already on this album, which is a bit unorthodox, but we're not in Kansas anymore, are we? And the basic concept of this LP, which is referenced in its title, is to experiment with the basic sounds of acid house music. Alter it at its most basic elements, which includes embracing beats and rhythms that are hypnotic and trance-inducing, and including the uniquely sharp sounds of the Roland TB303 bass synthesizer, which was creating the extremely abrasive squelching sounds that were tearing ears apart years before people were complaining about all these distorted wobbling bass wub wubs in modern dubstep. Now the TB303 was originally meant to be a practicing aid for solo guitarists, but it somehow found a very cozy home in electronic music. And it made a lot of noise on some pretty popular tracks, including Fatboy Slim's Everybody Needs a 303, and Future's Acid Tracks, which is the single kind of credited with forming the Acid House style. The style that Recondite is altering on this album. And not only is his approach to acid house music very minimal, atmospheric, open, kind of bleak, simplistic, but what sort of makes these tracks stand out is his use of that TB303. How he produces sounds with this instrument is kind of surprising because the tracks <laughs> sound kind of beautiful. He sequences the TB303 on this thing so delicately and, and so sparsely on a lot of these tracks, creating some melodies that have a very odd beauty to them, almost like a, a fragility as well. Like on the track Tie In, which nears almost 10 minutes, the TB303 sounds on that track just bounce on the tempo, literally with a splash of reverb, they bounce on the tempo so somberly. And the 303 phrases are even simpler on the track Felicity, where Recondite is kind of altering the tonality of the track, but not overdriving it to the point where it starts squelching or starts distorting. For the most part, he is bringing the sounds just short of that threshold, just barely pushing it because he just wants to keep it subtle on these tracks. The track Harbinger sees him putting some extreme reverb on the 303, really making it cascade over itself as it's playing these sequences, and the song Sultry is just that, and he plays the 303 having it call out as if it were like a siren or something, like it was really singing, really changing the sustain of the notes as it is singing this one phrase over and over. So he definitely knows his way around a 303 or a 303 mock-up or, you know, some kind of 303 program on a computer. Either way, he's making really great use of it, but his talents don't stop there. He's no slouch when it comes to programming a beat, too. The beats on this thing are very quiet, they're very subtle, and extremely entrancing too. And he progresses them very nicely across every single track, whether the song is four minutes or it's nine minutes. The six tracks Recondite puts on this LP are, are very detailed and showcase a lot of finite differences between them. But most importantly, besides the mastery of the 303 and the very nice rhythms, the extremely nice rhythms that, 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 that are showcased throughout this album, there is a very strong emotional palette coming from this album too. This is very emotive electronic music. It is very sad music, beautifully sad, forlorn, slightly depressing. It's very chilly. It's, it's kind of frostbitten. Overall, I wish this album was longer. I wish it had 
some more tracks. The two remixes on this thing, one from Tin Man and another one from Scuba, are pretty decent. They showcase a nice subtlety to them, just like Recondite's productions do, so it's not like when I come across them they really take me out of the mood of the album, which is really all I can ask for. While I do feel like Recondite on this album showcases some really unique talents, this album still just kind of feels like a collection of tracks, and I feel like he acknowledges that with the remixes thrown into the mix. Feeling a light to decent eight on this thing, take a listen to it, and when you do, you know, let me know. What do you think about it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Anthony Fantano, Recondite, on acid forever. <laughs>